What happened, Keith? What, what's the uh, what's the latest? Well, we had a guy test positive. We had a player test positive. One of the few that could. Um, my inclination is he probably got it in the St. Joe game because they. This is just uh, conjecture on my part, but because uh, they had a couple guys test positive right after our game, so that's that's my gut feeling on it. This guy that played, you know, considerable minutes in the game. Yes. And it wasn't me. The only one I could comment on is me because I don't want to have a HEPA violation. Okay, so, I got you. So the mean, nasty me did not uh, test positive. <laughs> Must be in your blood. But yeah. you, you said only four guys could have gotten it because of the was a 150 day window. It's actually uh, – hold on, Jerry. Let me, let me look at my shit. I think it's six possible guys could have gotten it because of the 150-day window. So once you get it, you're, you're immune for those number of days? According to what they tell us. Right. Yeah. I'm sure that's changing daily with the new strains and all that, but that's kind of the rules that we've been going by. You know – Timing's not great, but listen, it's just one of those years. You know, we started to play pretty decent basketball, and we'll just have to figure out a way to continue to do it. That's what I was going to ask, uh, Keith. Um, we've all grown to expect the unexpected through this entire process. But, you know, this specifically coming off such a great opening night and you know, all of the buzz and all of the, all of the goodwill and, and the winning streak and everything um, – how deflating is this right now? Obviously, it, it's out of your hands and your control. Them. Well, I'm not going to let it be deflating. I refuse to do that. I, I'm going to look at look at it as a positive that, uh, you know, we're, we're going to do everything we can to keep our guys healthy and do the right thing, and then um, continue to work with our guys to make them better. You know, so that when we come back from the home stretch, we can make a run at this thing. So, I mean, you know how it is. You can sit there and be woe is me, woe is me, woe is me, or you just look at the positive and keep fighting. That's that's what I've liked best about this team so far is we could have cashed in already 65 times and we haven't. So, so I'm not going to look at it like that. How long would this player have to be quarantined, Keith? Um. Well, the guys that have had contact with them will be quarantined at least seven days, and I think with uh, can get out of quarantine with three negative tests. And uh, I think he's a ten dayer, but I could be wrong. I'm not. I just wait until they tell me. They tell me uh, uh, when they can come out of quarantine. So you, you'll be without some players when you play George Washington on Saturday, right? Next Saturday. That's George Mason, right? I'm sorry, George Mason. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, again, I don't know what the status of that game will be depending on, you know, you know what our status is. I don't I'm not sure that game's a lock right at this point because because we won't we wouldn't have our full group. We wouldn't even have close to our full group, I don't think. How many guys will be involved in contact tracing that we're, we're, we're exposed? Um six. Six plus the guy who is. It's really the six guys that that can still test positive. Right. Okay. Right. You see what I mean? Yes. Gotcha. Um, forgive me for being a minute too late. Um, can we rewind and uh, what did I miss here? So we had a we had a player test positive, and because of HEPA, I can tell you that the only one I can tell you that is is it wasn't me. So it was a player. And because of that, we, you know, obviously we have six guys that haven't really had the virus or, or outside of their 150 day window. So, you know, obviously we couldn't play the game. Tomorrow, tomorrow's schedule game. So, Sunday's game. Sunday, Sunday. So yeah. the game against, okay, that's, okay, that's not happening. Okay. And then, you know, uh, uh, Ryan asked me if, you know, it was deflating. And I said, no, I refuse to, to make it deflating because, you know, we just got to turn it into a positive. So that's the summary. How did the, how did the players take the news, Keith? 
You know what? That's hard to say. I, I, I don't know. Like the one thing I'll tell you is Jerry is uh, uh, young people are pretty resilient and at least they're not going into this with a three game losing streak. They're going in with a three game winning streak. So it should be better than the last time we went into it. And um, is it, I want to make sure I understand, is it canceled or postponed? Po well, postponed. Um, so th the interesting part about all this is, is because there's been so many games postponed, we don't really know like which ones will be made up and which ones won't be made up. We have a lot of gaps in our schedule, so we, we certainly can make up some games depending on what other people's schedules are. So we've actually played more games in the league than most people in the league. So I don't know, like, are we going to make up the St. Louis game, the Richmond game, uh, these, this game? I don't, I don't know. So what, what do you guys, not to ask you to Duke reporter, what's next from here, but I guess, like, what do you guys do today? What do you guys do tomorrow? How do you guys deal with this while the six guys are doing that's a, that's a That's a really fair question. So we have six scholarship guys that actually can practice because they've already had the virus. So we will practice those six guys. Don't ask me how, but we will somehow. <laughs> and then we can do the other guys individually, the contact traced guys. So we'll do them individually. And uh, you know, we'll go from <laughs> we'll go from there. If you need bodies, Ryan and I will volunteer. We got we did, you're trying to get me fired. <laughs> Jerry's a good rebounder. All right, Jerry's got bang some bodies in there. <laughs> Keith, you have that um, talking about the schedule. You have I think your last scheduled game is like the 27th of February, and then the. Tournament is March 10th. Is are you anticipating that week in between there being used to, to make up some of these games? Again, like it, I think it depends on other people's schedules almost more than ours. You know, again, we're going to have to be fleet on our feet because we really don't know how it's all going to play out. But if, but if we have to go into the tournament having not played for what's that, 10 days? Something like that, that's not good. Yeah, I think it's 12 days, 12 depending on when you like play that. your first game anyway. So you can see the more we've started to play, the better we've played. You know, the more we've played ourselves into game condition, basketball shape. You can see Mike Hughes, Marcus Weathers really starting to play at the level that they did last year and maybe even better. You know, and as long as, as, long as those guys play at a high level, we're going to be in every single game. And if we can continue to improve at the defensive end, which we've made some really good strides, we're pretty good defensively, and eventually make a three ball or two, then we're capable of beating anybody in the league. So we just need to make sure we don't lose our conditioning right now, which is – so So just from a coach's perspective, so you understand this, it's a, it's a dilemma because you don't want to grind them out with boring, tough conditioning, tough – this and that, having no fun because they're already not playing games. But you also have to make sure that you sustain and maintain your conditioning or you're not going to win. So uh, I think if you look at the league as a whole, even like when St. Louis came back from, the, from their pause, they weren't very good. Like they weren't as good as they were prior. Richmond, everybody's had their struggles. Now we got hit first and then we, we started to play pretty good. So we just have to make sure we don't uh, we don't uh, regress. Is it? In this pro I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, advice. Is it any better or worse? You may have said this earlier. Is it any better or worse that you guys were, you know, look, four of your last five wins, you know, big win, get the home, you know, get into the new buildings. That make it any better, or any worse, or? Does it I matter? think it's got to be better. I mean, if we if we went limping into this thing and had to sit seven to ten days or whatever. And then had to, you know, jump start them again. That would be damn near impossible to me, right? That'd be pretty hard. But at least this way, we go in with feeling pretty good about ourselves, understanding that hey, we're capable of beating anybody. We're getting better and better. Our camaraderie's good. You know, we've beaten some good teams. 
just playing at a pretty good level, I think it gives you a chance. I wouldn't want to go into it with three losses. I don't know what I would do, having to sit there and just, you know, think about how badly I feel. At least I can feel good we won three games. There might be a good chance that you won't get in 18 conference games this year. Oh, I'd say there's a slim possibility of that, Jerry. I don't I don't see how we're getting 18 in. I again I I may be wrong. I'm willing to play though. I, I don't mind playing three games in a week or whatever, four games in a week. The guys want to play, so we're better off to play than practice. The problem you have is five of those seven games are on the road. Well, at least according to the schedule. Right. Yeah, the way <laughs> the it is now. The schedule means absolutely nothing. <laughs> we, we might end up playing George Washington six times. Who knows? You never know. <laughs> or St. Louis four times. You don't like the way this year is going. You know, and just think about it. I think the I think the rule is to play in the NCAA tournament, you have to have seven negative tests, seven days in a row, negative tests. I might be wrong on that. But that's gonna be interesting, huh? Does the A-10 have a, a, a regulation like that? Uh, I, you know what? I don't the know the A-10 rule. Pardon? I don't know the A-10 to oh, play okay. in the A-10 tournament what the rule is. I, but we, we get tested three times a week. In the, in the You know, that's a league rule or an NCAA rule. So, you know, we're – We've been tested more than you can imagine. And then we'll probably test our guys every day this week just to make sure that they're, they're taken care of. I mean, that's our obligation is to make sure, is to make sure that, you know, our guys are healthy and that we don't spread things to other people as well, which not everybody is as uh, careful as we are. Anything else? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, I mean, other than this being a tough day. So now now what will you do on your Sunday? You going to watch Super Bowl? What, what are you going to do now? That's a good question. We'll probably give them Sunday off. Just, you know, they deserve a day on the weekend where they don't have school. They don't have anything where they can just lay around and do nothing and enjoy the Super Bowl. So we haven't done it. We're going to practice tomorrow, you know, with the one group and isolate the other group and, and then probably give them Sunday off and see what the eight. 10 comes up with, with a, uh, for us. Um, but, you know, like even the George, George Mason game is a difficult deal because let's just say we get out of quarantine on Friday. Like it's hard to play a game on Saturday. You can't, that's not really fair to the guys either. He's not doing any team things, but look, we'll do whatever they ask us to do. And at the end of the day, we're going to do it the very best we can. And if we continue to develop, like I think we will, I, I still feel pretty optimistic about our year. And Coach, That's, early – I'm sorry, I just want to make sure I got this right. Earlier this year you had about – was it 10 guys on the team who had had it at some point? Well, I mean, I, I think we, we had at least – when you count the guys that have left as well, we've, we've had at least 12 guys that have had it now. Maybe more than that. Yeah, 12, I think, is the exact number including walk-ons and, and then all but me and me and Charles Thomas on our coaching staff. Which is that was crazy. before this latest positive test. Yeah, this was before the latest. Okay. And we're, you know, we're fortunate because we've got that, that instant test where we get the results in 15 minutes. If we didn't have that, like in the school spent a lot of money for it. So if we didn't have that, this would be a, this would be a mess. It's a mess anyway, but like it'd be even messier. Either you put any thought into like weird rotations or things like that if you end up having to play a game where you're real short. I know Boston College was planning on playing a game with four scholarship guys the other day. Do you have some kind of like in case of emergency plans if you got to go into something like that? Um. I, again, I try not to think too far into the future, but we'll we'll play with whatever we have. I mean, that's a good thing about our team is we've got good depth, and we've showed that already. Like, we 
we're capable of playing without certain guys. I don't know if we're capable. There's a couple guys on our team that probably wouldn't be good for us, but we could survive some other things because we have pretty good depth at certain spots. Um, you know, obviously you can't lose the best players on your team. Nobody can do that and really consistently be a good team. You could use walk-ons, right? You have yeah, we could. I don't think that'd probably be very good for us, but you know, those kids will play hard. They're good. They're our walk-ons are good, hard playing guys. And pr I probably have more respect for them than, I mean, they, they bring it every day, which is with no gratification at the end of it. So I, I really respect those guys. I would prefer not to. I mean, I'd prefer to play with our best players, you know, because ultimately at the end of the year, they look at your record and they don't care who you played. So I really don't like bad records next to my name, really. But some things you can control and there's others you can't. Anything else? Hey, and by the way, so like our guys have done a really good job with the protocols. So it's interesting because there's some teams in our league that haven't had one positive test with their players. But I think part of that is just pure luck, you know, and a lot of it is situational. And the minute, you know, you start saying, oh, our, our guys have done a great job with the protocols. That's why we haven't had any positive tests is the minute your whole team gets it. So a lot of it is just wrong place, wrong time, what the other team's doing, you know, it's, it's so situational, it's ridiculous. That's what, that's how I feel at least. Cause you know, it's only one particle. Think about it, it's one particle at one time at one place. So you can be doing everything right and one particle gets you. And especially with the new strain, right? So. So we've just, you know, we've had a little bit of bad luck, but again, I'm pretty optimistic as to what we can do with this. So 